Good morning. Anyone who played Tekken 3 back in the day probably has a core memory associated with it. Let's say you go into your friend's house and after your mom drops you off you run straight up the stairs to their room and as you get there, you see the grey PS1 on the floor, green light glowing and it's running what seems to be a fighting game with 3D visuals and music that immediately triggers your child dopamine receptors. Your friend is playing as a man who seems to be breakdancing all over the screen, destroying anyone in their way and then they proceed to kick your ass. Tekken 3 is a fighting game of the PlayStation 1 era that at some point everyone played. The legacy of Tekken 3 is still felt to this day and this is why we still talk about it 25 years later. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. We all know what a VPN is, but have you ever stopped to think of the possibilities you could be missing out on? Well, the time has come to get the fastest VPN on the market using nordvpn.com forward slash arseltie. Stop scrolling endlessly through Netflix and use NordVPN to change to Japanese Netflix because who doesn't love Chainsaw Man? Or literally go anywhere in the world to check out hundreds of other shows. As well as this, NordVPN is like a wall of next generation encryption that will protect your personal internet data from being exposed, block out malware ridden websites and get through the annoying regional licensing that stops you from watching your favourite YouTuber. Don't get it twisted, internet speeds are not a problem when using NordVPN. It's literally the fastest VPN on the market. So have peace of mind when browsing the internet and get the most out of your streaming services by using the link nordvpn.com forward slash arsenal time and you'll get a discount on a two year plan with four extra months for free. It's also risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description and get started with NordVPN. The year is 1994. Arcades and fighting games were very popular in Japan and at the time, Virtua Fighter 2 was the big boss. It was the hottest 3D fighting game and it was Harada's dream to one day surpass the franchise. But at this point, he was just a voice actor. During the development of Tekken 2, many from the Tekken project just straight up left Namco because Japanese game companies were desperate for developers and so they just went elsewhere. It was Harada who stepped up during these dark times to become the game director and so the recruitment strategy also changed. It's 1996, a year before any release of Tekken 3. It was in this year that the world first saw Tekken 3 and they didn't just show a combo video followed by a logo, no 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 no, they showed the world this. People couldn't believe what they were seeing. Keep in mind that this is in 1996, the same year that Knuckles was running around like this. beauty of Tekken 3 on the arcade was just too much for PS1's hardware, as Tekken 1 and 2 were developed on Namco System 11, whereas Tekken 3 was developed on System 12. In the meantime, PS1 remained the same throughout, so major downscales were made from arcade to console. Fully rendered 3D backgrounds were now 2D panoramas, but despite being quoted as a very painful process, it was a successful one, and in Japan on the first day of release on the PlayStation 1, Harada would wake up and go to work like any normal day, but then he'd find out. Tekken 3 sold 1 million copies. It was a phenomenon, and it would go on to sell 8.3 million copies worldwide. When you open up Tekken 3 after listening to this, mm. You get this mad intro with monsters, ninjas, explosions, all to this digital rock soundtrack that just gets you in the mood. Pretty sick way to start a game. Menus are straight to the point like Tekken 1 and 2, but the sound effects are more arcade-like. In the character select screen, the panels improve massively and each character has a sort of distinguishable colour. Just look at the glow up from Tekken 2 to Tekken 3, look at that! Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! I want all of you to look at it! 
From a gameplay perspective, Tekken 3 still holds up to this day. Korean backdashing was a thing in Tekken 3 and it covered huge distance, making footsies in Tekken 3 a key element. The sidewalk was introduced in Tekken 5, but sidestepping in Tekken 3 covered huge distance. Pair this with the fact that hurt boxes were relatively small in this game and you get a lot of freedom to move around and avoid your opponent. This is the first Tekken with a good Okazeme system and wave dashing. Imagine how this must have felt when playing only Tekken 1 and 2. As always though, when looking back on a Tekken, you can't ignore some of the broken shit in this game and oh boy, was there some broken shit. 12 frame unbreakable throw because fuck you. This move, and if they duck, you do down forward one and something. Running freeze are plus 17 in this game, so if you block it, you're dead. Unblockables tracked, resulting in dumbass tech traps. Jin's hell sweep is practically safe. Honestly, these two characters pretty much own the game. We all love Gone, but really, Gone is bullshit. What are these moves? All right in the ass. <laughs> oh, another one. Why oh, is it infinite? <laughs> what a hit. Bro. Spinach. Oh, no. Oh, no. The lingering hit. Oh, oh, Games like Tekken Balls show that Tekken 3 didn't take itself too seriously at the cost of fun. The simple game of fighting game volleyball was enhanced by the massive moveset that the Tekken 3 roster had at the time and this made it so a variety of strategies could be used to kill your opponent. Tekken Force is the weakest game mode in this game. The character's movement just feels awkward with this camera angle. It's hard to know which direction is blocked sometimes and with the enemies all around you it can get super frustrating. Don't forget that this is the 90s PS1 era, if you fail, you start from the beginning but i do like the fact there's a high score leaderboard for replayability and the four different stages is a good amount of content for a mode added into the console version at the last second you win tekken 3 was created in a ps1 era where the game industry was full of wonder and discovery developers were full of ambition to create the next big game that would capture the minds of audiences around the world the passion can clearly be seen in tekken 3 as the improvements from tekken 2 are incomparable Tekken 3 is a once in a lifetime game that spawned a cultural phenomenon that's hard to replicate with the noise of today's internet. Every character felt like they were specifically designed to wow the audience in some way and it just felt like no other game was as cultured as Tekken 3. Characters like Armor King were wearing Fila branded tracksuits and fresh sneakers. The digital rock soundtracks by Nabiyoshi Sano were super hyped for a fighting game during this time. Ask anyone who was around during the 90s and they'll probably recognise Tekken 3 in some way. The first and second game did well on their own respectively, but Tekken 3 was the game to push the franchise into the spotlight, immortalising itself into the top 3. As time has gone on with the increasing scale of AAA games and digital sales now being a thing, it's clear that the conditions that Tekken 3 thrived in were unique to its time and it's unlikely we'll ever see a fighting game achieve the cultural status that Tekken 3 did ever again. <laughs>